Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. So, today I defeated 7 hours of homework. And I'm also going to defeat the Exalt. Because there's only two places they can be left. Either Canada or Mexico. And we have a covert operative on site in Russia at one of the Exalt's cells. Which will be done in 5 days. So as soon as that goes through, we are going to know exactly where the Exalt HQ is, and we are going to destroy them. I really hope an alien mission or an escort mission or a council mission or whatever doesn't pop up before we do this, because I really want to kill the Exalt this episode. So hopefully something big doesn't pop up before the covert operation, so let's just wait. Excellent. Please don't pop up, please don't pop up, please don't pop up, please don't pop up. Okay, good. EMP cannon. EMP cannon available for manufacture, shift repair project available in the foundry. Increase the chance of recovering functional alien technology from downed UFOs. Okay, yep. I'm assuming that's just better than all my other weapons. It's a pretty safe bet, I think. Well, let's just do the hyperwave communication. We've certainly had an influx of new developments recently. Well, the sectoid commander is an intriguing subject. I have to admit, this device has also captured my attention. All right, so I'd like to outfit my firestorms that are coming within one day with the EMP cannon. I probably can't though. How much money do I have? 169. Eh. Well, I can buy one. So, how powerful is it? Holy shit, that is... That may be the best... aircraft weapon in the game, actually. Let's see. At the moment, the best thing I have is a laser cannon, which is 85%. Short, rapid, low, medium. Short, rapid, low, medium. Short, rapid, low, medium. Short, rapid, low, medium. So, okay, it doesn't have a sh it doesn't have a super high fire rate and his range is short. But it has a 100% chance to hit. It penetrates the hell out of their armor and does a ton of damage. That is amazing. All right, let's Yeah, let's buy one. Okay, covert operation in one day. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, new aircraft. Beautiful. Look at that sexy thing. God, I just want to caress those force fields. Mm. Oh, it even levitates. <gasps> I think we just leveled the playing field. Here we go, Covert Operative is ready for extraction. We are going to get the Exalt HQ this episode. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. All right, who do I take? I believe everybody's probably good to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Same loadout from last mission. My last mission was an Exalt operation. We are good to go. I can't wait to get their HQ. Oh, I hope it's an epic mission. On the mission. Something really difficult. Our latest intelligence sweep indicates an exalt cell inside Russia. Strike one is to provide whatever is necessary to help our operatives secure the exalt data. Wait a minute. Holy crap, I just forget all of this. I was, I was just reading this tip. Although they have cybernetic enhancement, mechs can still be healed with medkits as well as by upgraded arc throwers. Mechs can be healed by upgraded arc throwers? Holy shit, that sounds amazing. I think I might even be researching that, or maybe I already have. I'm not even sure. I think I'm researching that. Huh. Healed with an arc thrower. Why would it even heal? It's like a stun. Why? A, I don't know. I'm not going to complain, though. The 
covert operative we deployed was interrupted by Exalt forces while attempting to gather intel from an Exalt communications relay. If our operative is going to finish the job, Strike One will have to protect them while they hack the remaining arrays. The operative must survive if we have any hope of retrieving that data. We have a new objective. Okay, so it's not a timed mission. Good to know. Good to know. I have no way to get intel without being discovered, so I might as well just send someone to the front. Man, Ochner, you really can't move very far. But I guess I'm just I'm probably just getting spoiled by my mechs who can move an amazing distance. Look at this. He can he can go over like half the map. And also Blenda's very, very long legs. Now everybody else just pales in comparison. In fact, I am actually going to move with somebody else. Ah, <sighs> they still don't have plasma weapons. When will they learn? I guess not before they die, at this rate. Well, I could ruin their day. Be fun to launch a proximity mine. It would actually kill the sniper if they moved, but would they move? I don't know. Let's move you up. Let's see what we can do this turn. <laughs> I love how the mechs just swing around. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. You're probably going to get shot at if you're up there. Ah, no cover. No cover. I can't even get up on these boxes for some reason. I guess they're beneath her. Eh, I'm going to put you up there. You'll be fine. Good copy, moving on target. Why would I want to move you? I want to move the rest of my squad first. Right, so it looks like I'm only gonna, gonna be able to shoot with mo both of my mechs. Yep. Running. Let's show them what I'm made of. Let's see, I could kill both of them if... I used my grenades. Kind of seems like a waste. It kind of seems like a waste. So instead of that, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's spread it out. Let's not just use the grenades. Let's use a proximity mine. Which I am then going to trigger using a grenade. So that way, I'm spreading out my use. Oh yeah, didn't like that combo, did you? I don't really want to move you. So, I won't. Was there a third one? I can't even remember. Well, let's move up. Moving to position. Let's 
It's gonna take my time, no reason to rush. Everything is good. Get some overwatch here. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you there. Alright, I know there must be some exalt between me and Gary Warner. And there they are. Oh, hi. I think you're dead. I'm just kidding. Actually, is Isley gonna get a shot? Isley? Isley? Oh, oh, somebody's getting a shot. Oh, Smith? He's getting some. Still no dice, Isley. There we go. Now you're dead. Goodbye. What, was that a miss or a hit? What, what even happened? I think he died? He must have died. It didn't actually play an action cam or anything like that, but I think I heard him die. I don't even know. But I do know I'm going to come over here. Because there's got to be some hiding here. Or not. Never mind. Time to move. There they are. Yes, cluster together. Ooh, she's flanked. That's not good. That's that's really, really not good, actually. Heading out. It's okay though. We can remedy that. Perhaps. Perhaps another proximity mine combo? Hmm? Shit. Alright, his shots are blocked. He is MIA from this fight. At least for this turn. Ah, they're all in full cover too. Of course, I can probably kill one with Isley, or two. You can hit him? He's, he's behind a... I'm gonna stop trying to even understand how these snipers can just hit people through walls. Because it's not really something you want to complain about. It's a good thing, for me. And a very bad thing for the Exalt. Let's go you. Because you're the closest to Gary Warner. Also, you're away from the group, so you won't be hit by any AoEs. Could I rock it? Not even close. He might have a shot up here, maybe, Blunda? No, I didn't think so. Right, I'm just gonna launch a grenade. Not gonna kill them, but it will mess with their heads and maybe destroy the cover. No, it didn't destroy their cover, but it did hurt them a lot. Let's see. Honestly, I don't even need to worry about this. This these exalt missions are so easy. I really shouldn't even worry about it. Although she could be critted, actually, I probably should worry about it. Gary Warner really could very easily die here. He's only in half cover. Ten four. 
All right, let's move some other targets up for the Exalt to shoot at, so hopefully they won't shoot Gary Warner. That's my plan right now. Just, just get up, get up in their faces. Okay. You want to shoot my mech? Go for it. Just don't shoot Gary Warner. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you can take a shot now. Now that I blew it up. Okay, let's do it. Guaranteed kill. Alright, well, I'm not worried about Gary Warner anymore. Nope. He's pulling back. Which is the smart thing. Who needs the experience? I usually you do. Here you go. I think what I'm going to do with Isley is, when she gets up to Colonel, I'm going to give her the other, the other main sniper ability, which is the one that allows you to, what's it called? It's the one that allows you to keep shooting, and it like it doesn't use up your your turn if you manage to kill an enemy. So, uh, that way I'm going to get the ability to test out both of the main sniper abilities at the Colonel level, the double tap and whatever the other thing is. It's possible I'll like the other ability more, so I really want to experiment with it. We'll see. We'll just have to see how it works out. All right. Well, let's hack this thing. Affirmative. Moving out. Our operative is ready to hack one of the exalt relays, Commander. We just have to activate it, and that data will be ours. Other than that, might as well just Overwatch for when they inevitably come swooping down on us. Come on. I know you're coming. Oh no! They're all gonna die from reaction shots. Goodbye! Well, that one missed the mark, but trust me, not all of the others will. Oh, they're gonna hit. Ochner? That's okay. That's okay, there's plenty more chances. Who else? No, I guess they're too far away. Alright. First dibs, as always. It's with Isley. Here you go. <laughs> she is just a one woman killing machine. God, snipers are amazing. Did it actually kill him? It did. Alright, Ochner, you can also use the experience too. You're not a colonel, right? I don't think you are. It's hard to tell. Like, I think one of these. I think this symbol means what level you are. Yeah, it does, but I don't even know what they actually mean. But I do know these guys are colonels, so that, that symbol means colonel. And this one obviously doesn't. Let's get you closer. On my way. 90% <laughs> chance to crit. Oh, you're dead. the relay commander while also disrupting exalt's communication system we'll need to keep looking for any nearby relays to get the remaining data you mean like the one i just walked next to thanks for the intel central i really needed it ah what do i even pay central for he, he just tells me stuff i already know like there's aliens coming in on your position i know there's always aliens coming in on my position why am i paying you for this what do you even do Hmm. I'm going to put you here, because I suspect the next wave is going to come from somewhere over in this direction. I'm on my way. Eh, you're in a good spot. Yeah, we'll cover both sides. We're picking up fresh exalt forces. Yep, to I was right. <laughs> One hit point left. 
His day just got very bad and it's not going to get any better. I'll get him next time. Well, should we... What the hell? Oh yeah, I think the reaction fire. That mist hit that and caught it on fire. I'm amazed you didn't take any damage, Ochner. Huh. Okay, well. Guess I'll move you up over here. Let's give Isley some more experience. She better get a promotion for this. Jesus. Oh. Commander, we recovered the last of the data. We just need to get our operative to the evac zone. Wait, could I even end this mission right now? No, I can't. Damn. However, Gary Warner, do you want a little bit of action? I bet you do. Going in for the kill. Let's give Gary Warner some action. Aww, Gary Warner's gonna hit him with her little pistol. The pistol is so cute, isn't it? I'm even gonna rapid fire. What an insult to be killed with the lowest level pistol that you start the game with. It's never been upgraded. Ever. Heading to that location. Right, well it doesn't even matter what we do now. So let's just overwatch. Next turn, Commander, we're out of here. Additional hostile contacts are on approach. Goodbye. Adjusting aim. Enemy target eliminated. Yeah, shot a little wide with that one, Finn. Well, before we leave, let's give Isley yet more experience. That's what, four kills at this point? She has earned a promotion, yes! Oh, that is awesome. What a perfect way to end the mission. And we're done. Exalt HQ, here we come. That's right, I don't even care about what Central has to say to me. I'm continually mm. impressed by the work of our soldiers. They seem to be extremely efficient. Let's see. Well, Killer Instinct is... Killer, killer instinct. There, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. This is the one I normally go with, so let's go with that again. Alright. Let's see, so how does this work? Killing a flanked or uncovered target. Okay. I kind of don't want to take it for the same reason I didn't take it before. It's the fact that they need to be flanked or uncovered. The chance of a sniper actually killing a flanked target is very low. Because normally they're not behind enemy lines. The chance of killing an uncovered target is... I don't know. It depends on the enemy. Some of them, like mechs for example. Well, I mean, she's probably not gonna get a... She's probably not gonna get the killing shot on a mech. But things like chrysalids, she definitely could kill and they're never in cover. I don't know. Let's let's just go with it. Let's experiment. Has she been unlocked? Where in the world? No, where in the world is the Exalt HQ? That's a good question. Where where is it? Intel decryption completed. Recalculating possible Exalt facility locations. It's in Canada. You gotta be kidding me. It's not in Mexico. Mexico is the first fucking place to pull out. They're dicks to me. They've been total dicks to Africa. Or at least the XCOM program in Africa. The Canadians, of all people, the freaking Canadians. But they're so nice. They're so nice. And they have good health care. How could they house such evil? Okay, well. 
let's do this. I don't know what this does, I have no idea what this mission looks like. But let's attempt a raid on the Exalt HQ. Raiding a country that has already left XCOM and is not harboring the Exalt base will increase panic in the surrounding countries. The aliens are probably mm -hmm. more than a little upset that we didn't fall in line like they'd hoped. Analyzing intelligence data. Exalt base location That's identified. it, Commander. Based on the compiled intelligence reports, we've confirmed the location of Exalt's primary base. We can launch an assault against the facility on your order. Let's do it. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me anything about what I can expect. But... Let's just go with the squad. Well... One change. I'm sorry, Ochner, but you still don't have memetic skin yet, so I'm gonna take Arrow. Other than that, everything will remain the same. Let's give you proper stuff here. Alloy cannon. And the chit and plating. And a scope. Yep. Okay. My medic has a medkit. Good. You're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. I think everybody's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go. I wonder what this mission's gonna be like. I'm really curious. Is it gonna be super hard or just Touching down. I don't know, I guess we're about to find out. Let's go. We're en route to Exalt's headquarters on the top floor of an office complex downtown. We have no intel on the number of operatives stationed in that facility, but we should expect heavy resistance. Whoa, cool, it's it's hidden in plain sight atop a skyscraper. Knock it out to deal a decisive blow to Exalt. It's on top of a skyscraper, that's a really cool level. The objective for this operation is simple. Eliminate any Exalt forces within the building and wipe out this threat once and for all. Good luck, Strike One. Aww. It sounded cool, but... Everything is just gray. I thought there'd be some cool backgrounds. I can see a little bit of a building here in the top right, but... I thought you'd, I thought you'd be able to see the rest of the city, but it's just... Dreary and gray. Alright. I hope we at least face plasma weapons this time. Oh yeah, she has uh, muscle fiber density, right? Yeah, she does. Sweet. Should I go inside or should I go to the roof? They're probably not just hanging out on the roof. I mean, they don't know I'm coming. So I can't imagine the Exalt troops would just be huddled together on the roof. So let's go over here. I would love to see if you did this sort of a move and there were enemies like right here. And she had medic skin and she just busted open the window and just like shards just went flying everywhere and even hit the hit the aliens or the exalt or whatever you just uncovered. But they still don't know she's there because she has medic skin. I would love to see that. It could totally happen. It really could. Ah, where do I put you? Oh. They have one of those things too, except theirs is red. Because they're evil. Mm, this is a very bad level for a sniper. Horrible. I could put her up here, but what's the point? She's not going to be able to shoot anyone. Just put her here. Hmm. It's strangely quiet so far. I expected to see... see more exalt around here. Moving to target location. I'm suspicious. Maybe they have pet cyber discs. They're going to unleash. Hmm. 
Just get everyone into cover at least. Man, I'm packing up on this door so hard. Running. Oh, hi. Please tell me. Holy shit. Yes, yes, please stand together. I highly encourage you. Do they at least have plasma weapons? Please, do they? They still don't have plasma weapons. Come on. I don't think they're plasma weapons, are they? It's hard to tell. I guess we'll figure out next turn, probably. Anyway. Right, so no one's flanked and everyone is in cover, so her ability will not work. However... I could do a lot of AoE here. A lot. So much AoE. Can you shoot a rocket? Mmm, shot is blocked, shot is blocked. Ooh, ooh. You can. It would blow up the door. Um, yeah, let's do it. Who cares about the door? I didn't pay for it. I'm impressed. They even managed to replicate our hollow globe. I noticed that. But they made an evil variant. Because evil people have to have evil things. Right, well, you're not in cover anymore. That kind of blows. <laughs> well, look, look what I can do. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's not in cover. You're dead. Didn't use her turn. Oh, hi. You're not in cover. You're dead. Oh, it didn't use her turn. Oh, you're not in cover either. You're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, in the zone is pretty cool, I have to admit. You can combine some cool things with it. And she still has a turn left. I could just kill you, 99%. It doesn't even matter what I do at this point. I mean, no one needs the, no one needs to level up, right? I think I think everyone's max level, here. Colonel, Colonel, Colonel. Yeah, no one needs the experience, so there's no reason to distribute it. I could burn their faces off for the fun of it, but no, let's not move in. Cause there might be more. Oh hi, you're dead. Oh, I heard someone else wanted to be killed, too. Was it you? Did you want to be killed? Oh, you're dead. <gasps> no! You're not dead. It's okay, I can remedy that. You're dead. Bye -bye. Unfortunately, you're not in cover anymore. Let's, uh... I actually need to reload after shooting so many times. But let's get some overwatch here. I'll reload in the next turn. Actually, let's get some intel. Ooh. I like your six monitor setup. Major major props for that. Major respect. This like What the hell kind of a move is that? Look at look at that. What? <laughs> is it really the most efficient way to go? Like jump up Jump up multiple walls and then jump through the glass? What the hell? If you say so. But yeah, this little, um, like, vase stand... ...is apparently full cover. I'm amazed. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> you poor bastard. You poor, poor bastard. Unfortunately, that reveals her. But, it's okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Their comms are amazing. Oh, you get a shot? Holy shit, ow. Oh, that's right, he wasn't discovered, he was there from last turn. That's right. Unfortunately, my amazing sniper cannot see anyone. I should probably move her... here. Now she can see all the people. Well, most of them. Right. Unfortunately, Arrow's abilities are not good for killing multiple people. They're good for doing tons of damage to one person. Which is not particularly important with the Exalt. AoE rules here. I imagine you probably can't possibly shoot a rocket around any of them. Not really. So it's going to be down to my mechs. There isn't even any cover. Well, she might be able to see them from here. Let's check. Nope. Damn. Alright, so there's a big cluster over there, but other than that, I can't hit too many at one time. Hmm. Well... I guess... I will move you here. That way you're only being flanked by one person who's about to die. Alright, now I've got good cover. Let's go shoot him in the face, shall we? Move right up to take the brunt of the shots. Let's give Arrow some protection here. Even if my protection is merely just to be a, a bullet sink, that's fine. There's worse things to be than a sink. Heading there now. Might even be able to get a really good combo off here. In fact, I think I can. Ooh, yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Let's kill the whole group. I love this combination. Goodbye. Oh. That didn't... Hmm. Strange, I'm not sure why that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Something didn't seem to do the proper amount of damage, I'm not really sure why. Eh, it's fine. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move you up. Oh dear god. It looks like they prefer to swarm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine exalt. That's a lot of exalt. So here's what I'm going to do to protect from all of these shots. Yeah, they're trying to swarm me like ants. They're not very powerful individually, but... Nine separate people shooting at us is quite a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a smoke here. In fact, I think I might be able to get every single person of the group except for Isley. Yeah, I can. Let's do it. Good luck trying to hit us. And next turn, you're all dead. That gives us plus 40 defense. In fact, should I move her in? She would be more useful out here. Move her behind what? This? I don't think she'd be covered by the defense bonus there. Oh, I can just move her here. She's being flanked, but she has plus 40 defense, so... So what? Who just broke glass? I heard that. Oh, fuck. 
No, you're not allowed to use AoEs. Michael hacks. I'm the only one that can do that. Alright, well, I'm really glad I popped that smoke. Really, re- Oh, fuck! Uh... Central, we have a problem. Central, we have a- Please don't shoot any- Are you- Please don't- Please don't do the same thing. Good. Okay, good, good. Yes, take shots. Ooh, we are, um, really fucking in danger here. Holy shit. Holy shit. No one has ever used AoEs on me before. Ever. Thank God for that smoke grenade, but holy shit. Oh my God. I really wish I had the restorative mist from the mechs now. Because it's an AoE heal, which would be perfect for this situation. What are you doing? What are you? Oh, okay. I almost want to run away. Like five, six, seven hit points. Five, six, seven, eight hit points. Oh boy. Okay, but wait a minute. Maybe I can like kill them all with Isley. Actually, they're all in cover. Literally, every single one of them are in cover. Okay. Um. I'm thinking of a couple options here. I could. See, we're all out in the open. None of us have any cover. Literally, none of these people have cover. A couple big options. I could attempt to just brute force them. And just shoot them. I have two shots with you. I have two shots with my other mech. One shot from Arrow. One shot from Blunda. Two shots from Finn. Plus, I have AoEs. One shot from her. Or, what I could do is perhaps try to destroy their cover and use Isley. To just chain kill them. And I probably should use AoEs anyway. So... Fuck. Okay. What cover is destroyable? This will be destroyed, that won't, that won't. I don't think you can really destroy buildings. But you can destroy objects. So... Fuck. Do I run? Can I run? Well, this is all destroyed now, so not really. They're gonna be able to see me anyway. Right. So the most efficient way I can use the mechs is use one of their normal shots and then use their secondary ability for the rest of the turn. So what's the best way to do that? I'm not going to do it right now, of course. Um, that would... That would kill three. Okay, so I can take a shot and kill three. Cool. Let's, uh, let's just use the mechs. We don't need to worry about the mechs' health all that much. Unless I want to use collateral damage. No. Alright, who do I shoot? So I'm going to shoot someone and then use my proximity mine. Who do I shoot? I guess who do I have the most chance to hit? 61. 16. Oh, that's terrible. I think 61's my highest. 76. Yeah, you're going to die anyway, though. Right. Let's shoot you. Okay, good. You're dead. I'm trying to think if I don't need to use a proximity mine, because if I just use a grenade... Um, it will kill two, but it'll leave one alive. Eh, let's do it. Okay. Now, no one is uncovered, so I can't use Isley. At least not efficiently. Now, who do I shoot with you? 
52, 42, 22. I guess go for the 52. Let's go for the 52. Ooh! You... Did you just go invisible? Where the... What the fuck? Where... Okay. Good. You are... Uh, you're still in cover, unfortunately. Actually, hold on. Does she have a flanking shot? I don't know. I'll deal with that later. Because now I need to do this. There's no better way to trigger it, right? I don't think so. Alright. So that's four down. How the fuck are you alive? That does not make any damn sense. Alright. No, she does not have a flanking shot or an, un an uncovered shot on anyone, unfortunately. Alright, it's probably time to use your rocket. See? I could maybe destroy their cover, but the thing is they're in a cloud of defense, so... Might not be such a good idea. Alternatively, instead of using a rocket, I could shoot twice. So you'd probably need both shots to kill him. Let's see, so I can practically guarantee one person's death, or I can use this to hurt a significant amount of two people's health. I'm going to take this. With pleasure. Please destroy the cover. Cover destroyed. Yeah, may eh, yes 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 okay hopefully she can shoot through the cloud yes she can and you are are you flanked from here that's not a f no it's not a flanking shot from her it's a flanking shot from someone else okay so she can probably get two kills who do I have left to use this is tense this is really tense this went from like super easy to holy shit there's so many of them I shouldn't have put my troops together. But, I mean, no one has ever attacked me with AoEs before, ever. It just didn't even occur to me. I've seen them have RP... I've, I've seen them have rocket launchers, but they've never used them. So again, what do I do with you? I could shoot, or I can move and then shoot. Alright, where can I move that would be advantageous? Well, it's not even cover. I can actually move into the globe. I'm one with the planet. All right, well, I, uh, I don't want to move him into danger. I really don't want to move him into danger because he has very low health. I want, if anything, I want him to be between the mechs. I don't know how long the smoke is going to last. Is it going to last till next turn? It might not. Maybe. Ah, I don't know. I'm just going to move from here. Wait. You have overwatch? Please don't. I didn't know he had Overwatch on. Son of a bitch. Ah, <sighs> Blunda. I remember when I first took you out. I blew you up. And now your life ends shot in the head. Fuck. I didn't know he had Overwatch. God damn it. I could have avoided that too. I could have used arrows quick reaction. Uh, lightning reflexes. 
to pop the Overwatch, and it wouldn't have hit. God, why? How come I never fucking get the ability to restore my troops? They they always die. They never go into critical condition ever. Every single one that has ever died has died instantly. What the fuck? I even have the thing that decreases that chance. I've had it since like the beginning of the goddamn game, but it never works. All right, we're gonna show these exalt what we're made of for blunder. This might sound this this might sound bad, Blunda, given that you just died. But that's why I have a backup medic. Well, I know who I'm training next. An another support. <laughs> oh God. Right, right, right. I can pretty much guarantee your death. Anyone else have a reaction shot? I'm just gonna move you here. Hopefully they'll shoot the mechs before they shoot you, and use your rapid fire, and you're dead. <laughs> she shot twice even though she didn't need to. Okay, who do I have? Oh god, you're the only one who can do anything. Fuck. Alright. Let's hope this works. So, it's an 89% chance to kill, which is good. Successful, please? Okay, good. Now she gets another shot. That one is far better, so let's take it. What's your health? Full? Yeah, he has full health, so let's do... Headshot. That leaves one. If this hits, please. That looked like a totally miss, but it didn't, thankfully. Oh, Blunda. Oh, Blunda. Oh, hi! There's more. It's okay, though. They're clumped together. Are they actually not going to shoot me this turn? I don't think they are. Nope. Alright, well, I'm afraid Isley and my mechs are going to have to carry this one because everyone else is damn near dead and can't be healed. And my smoke cloud is gone, so we need to relocate. No flanking shot. Everyone is in cover. She can actually only take two more shots before she needs to reload. She shot too many damn people. Okay. Well, M and his massive amount of hit points is going to have to carry this one. I think you can hit him from there. Let's see, you can run and gun, though. You can get that fucker. So, we'll do that after. Actually... Let's just do that. I'm assuming there's not going to be some sort of big boss. That I need a shredder rocket for, so let's go with that assumption. I think I might have to snipe this guy. Ooh, that is a bad chance to hit. That is really bad. I need to deal I need to deal with them too. Because no one's in cover. And now they've been shooting. Alright, well I'm just gonna move I'm gonna move him up because again he has the most hit points. <sighs> Good, it missed. Look, you shot your own globe! Jackass. Five percent chance to hit? It's a good thing I have grenades. Jesus. Oh, hi. Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I could trigger the... Ah, triggering the proximity mine doesn't seem to even freaking work. 
Not reliably. I don't know what's up with that. Moving. It would kill both, though, if it worked, but it doesn't seem to. What do you- Whoa, Oh, no! I accidentally moved him! Where are you going? Down there. Okay, it could have been worse. At least you're out of the way. Jesus Christ. Not a good time to misplay. Ooh, you know what? Isley might have a shot at him. If I blow up these panels... This, this guy over here, because this one's going to die, but maybe this one. Alright, let's try to blow up these panels. You can see them being highlighted here. Where? Where'd they... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're going to blow up. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up the sniper's foot, as you can see in the top right. These panels are going to blow up. Yep. Isley? No, we don't have eyes. Oh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Unfortunately, she can't see him. Damn it. Alright, you're damn near dead. So I'm going to go ahead and move you here. Actually, maybe I should... Oh, fuck. I could have maybe gotten her eyesight so Isley could take a shot using squad sight. Oh, so much for that. Just Overwatch. Please, please protect us. I'm assuming you're the only one left. What are you doing? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. You can heal yourself all you want. It doesn't matter. A goddamn Overwatch. I wish there was some fucking way to tell who is Overwatched on you. But I... It doesn't seem like there's a way. I guess you just have to memorize it. Which is difficult. What am I even doing? I'm spacing out, just thinking about Blunda. Let's just, um... That's all half cover. Let's do this. Kill him and also safely get some eyes on the situation out there. Anyone else? Nope, he's the only one. Alright, you're dead. I guess that's the end of the mission? Affiliates at WFXS indicate that a minor electrical fire was reported near the upper floors of a large office building downtown. Sources indicate that first responders were on the scene within minutes. So far, there have been no reported injuries. In light of the recent events taking place around the world, it's certainly reassuring to know that our emergency services personnel are still putting their lives at risk to deal with these situations as they arise. I'll give Exalt some credit. They managed to hide their primary facility in plain sight. Yes, they did. Operation Devil's Apollo. <sighs> Blunder. Why? The plus 40 defense of the... Sp of the cloud wasn't enough to defend him from the sniper shot. Wow, Arrow's even wounded. That hasn't happened in a long time. But hey, it's fine. We got recovered art. Yay. Commander, with Exalt's headquarters destroyed and the remaining forces in hiding, we shouldn't have any further need for our covert operations section. I think it's time we refocused our efforts on the aliens themselves. Yes, yes, of course, but before that, let's let's take a moment for our fallen comrade. The fourth casualty. 24 kills. 17 missions. He died on Operation Devil's Apollo. To an exalt elite sniper. 
You were a good you were a good soldier, Blunda. One of the best. I don't even have any more assaults. I mean, uh, supports aside from Graves, who's gonna have to take over. And there's a weak spot in my troops. I need another support. So if I see a mission that has one, I'm gonna take it. And I guess I'm also probably, uh, unless I get another support from a mission, I'm going to take Ghost out and see if see if George Ghost GG becomes a support. Because as you can see there, if I didn't have a backup support, I would I would suddenly no longer have a medic, which is very, very bad. Alright, well let's- I want to see what this hyperwave communication thing does. I don't want to end on such a sad note. Oh, it's- I didn't even click- Oh, that's right! If you're in this menu, the time actually passes very slowly. Like, one minute every second or something like that, so it actually was passing, even though I wasn't waiting. Okay, so what did that do? Hyperwave relay available for construction. Rely on a sup um, The relay should allow us to trace the source of these, of these communications. Ghost armor. That could be very useful for my sniper. But... I don't know, I kind of like the Titan armor. Depends how good the ghost armor actually is. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Unless maybe this is new. Was this the, was this before an enemy unknown or is this new? I'm not even sure. I don't know. I don't really care about this other stuff. So let's do it. I'm just depressed now. It's been so long since I've lost a a soldier. It sucks. We've done some big things here, but I have to admit, my team and I are most proud of the work we put into the firestorm. Oh yeah, wait a minute, the firestorms. All right, let's move. <laughs> Demon one, two, and three—that is badass. All right, let's move one of the demons here. And let's move another one. Yeah, South America. Sure. Then, can I outfit them while they're in transit? No. <sighs> blunder. Blunder, blunder, blunder. Hmm. Alright, well... I don't think I'm gonna need to build another gen uh, power generator anytime soon, so as much as it seems stupid to put a different facility here, because now I can't put the super bonus power generator here, I'm actually gonna do it anyway. I mean, I could always put another power generator here and get one bonus, and I don't even need it. It doesn't even matter. But this thing only takes four power. Let's just get this thing building. Wait, was that, was that a new one? No, I didn't. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I can sell some stuff that I don't need. Recovered art. We've recovered some expensive and rare paintings from the Exalt base, which should fetch a high price in the collector's market. Their presence certainly suggests that Exalt's backers have black market contacts in addition to large amounts of cash. Artifact. None of them appear to be replicas or of modern origin, suggesting Exalt has a lengthy clandestine history. The skull is especially mysterious. Could it be the result of an internal power struggle? I don't know. We're going to need help shifting that equipment around. Get some people down there ASAP. Clear comms, Central. You're on the wrong channel again. Exalt's computer technology is less advanced than our own. The value rests instead in the financial data we've been able to extract. It can make the right buyers quite wealthy. Hmm. 
Holy crap, we have a lot of these. So many weapons. I'm not selling my alien entertainment. Never. We don't have the resources to go off on a wild goose chase. Alright, there's a bit of money. Maybe I can make... I don't know, what happened to the foundry? I probably should just make more firestorms. Although I probably don't have the stuff for that. No, I do. Ooh, I should do that. Yeah. That'll put me with one firestorm in each place. Alright, well. I'm gonna end the episode here, but now I'm depressed. I was so excited to take out the Exalt HQ. And I did that, but... I lost a soldier, so I'm not happy. Nope. And to make it even worse, I lost a soldier to something stupid that I could have avoided if I used my assault properly to trigger the Overwatch with their super reflexes. And I didn't do it. Yep. But the good thing is, we'll be perfectly fine. We have, we have plenty of troops. We truly will be fine. I'm just depressed. Alright, well... I'm going to end this episode here. I hope everyone has enjoyed it so far, and I will be back soon. I'm sorry, Blenda. I'm sorry. <laughs>